hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and this video is about an experiment I'm doing. I'm going to try out semi water culture. Here's what I'm going to do. So the first question you may ask is why am I going to try some of my orchids in water culture? And the answer is really just as an experiment, just to see if it will serve some functions. Now, I'm quite happy with growing my orchids as they are in bark. I, they do well for me and I don't really see a reason to change something that works well. But there are certain orchids, for example, sickly ones that might benefit from water culture. But you can't just jump in there. You can't just try water culture or semi-water water culture with sickly orchids. You have to try first with a healthy one to make sure you've got the hang of it properly and can't blame the method for the illness that the plant had in the first place. So the first thing I had to do was find an appropriate candidate for water culture and this came about quite by accident just before Christmas and what happened before Christmas was my husband was helping me water the orchids he was bringing them to the sink when he dropped one and the pot broke now that plant was an epidendrum the one you see here behind you and it then posed certain problems because I didn't have another pot to put it in <laughs> Now, I must say, I really am very fussy about the pots I keep my orchids in. I look on the pots as a thing of beauty and something to enhance the look of the orchids rather than, you know, just somewhere to stick them. And I do love clay pots. I love everything about clay pots. I love the fact that they're organic and their porous nature and the colour and I just love them to bits. So when the pot for this particular orchid broke, it was difficult to find another one and the result was it, that it just got stuck somewhere. Now it was just before Christmas, I couldn't be bothered looking properly for a new pot. So what I did was take this orchid and just stick it in a jug. Then what happened was I treated the epidendrum in the same way that I'd been treating my vandas. Filling them up to the top of their glass containers with water once a week for, well it's now for an hour. Emptying it out then after the hour and just leaving them dry for the rest of the week. So you might say that this, this epidendrum had inadvertently been in almost semi-water culture up until that point in time. Now, because epidendrums are in the Cattleya Alliance, I'm going to treat it as a Cattleya in semi-water culture. I'm using semi-water culture, which means for a number of days in a week, I have it in water and then for another number I have it out of water. So two days in water, five days out of water. And this is very important because as all of us who grow cattleyas know, cattleyas really need to dry out between waterings. So this in theory should allow them to dry out. When doing this it's very important that the water level is at least two inches below the base of the rhizome. The rhizome really mustn't sit in water otherwise it will rot. Now while the Cattleya Alliance isn't the best perhaps to start water culture with, the epidendrum has the advantage of being a very vigorous plant. This is Epidendrum ibaguensa and it's the one I grow in my greenhouse, in the frost-free greenhouse to a minimum of five degrees and I have a really big vigorous plant out there. Now this was a keiki I removed from that plant, brought indoors, potted and it was growing really quite well so I know it's a vigorous plant. And the other advantage of using this epidendrum was that the roots were already clean. Now when you convert to water culture you need to clean your roots up really nicely but because these had been keiki roots and the plant well, after it had been potted in bark, it had never really absorbed any of the, that bark or that muck into the roots, so it was easy enough to just convert. So it's the 7th of February today, and about two hours ago, I put this plant in a jar of water. And there you go, that's as far as it is full. I'm going to leave it like this for two days and then have it in no water for five days and continue like that until, well, we'll see. I'll keep you updated anyway. 
Now, you know, this is an experiment I'm doing and, um, well, we'll have to revisit it again, but I'm going to have to do this for a year anyway to give any definitive results of how successful or unsuccessful water culture might be. I have read that when orchids are initially introduced to water culture, they can abort all of their existing roots. I'm hoping this isn't going to happen with this epidendrum because it was, well, from before Christmas, really without any bark, but we shall see. Oh, and have you noticed this epidendrum is already going to flower? That's a flower spike, so I do think it will flower. Okay, so that's the beginning of my experiment with semi-water culture. And I will just mention that there are various sources on the internet where you can learn more about water culture or semi-water culture. Do check out the videos of Olivia. Her website, her YouTube channel is the OME, and I'm going to link to that above. And if you want an idea of how attractive orchids grown in water culture can look, then do check out Samantha's channel. And again, I'll put the link to that up above. She really hats off to her, it does a, a good job of displaying her orchids beautifully in water culture. But that's all from me for the moment. Thanks very much for watching. Bye now.